Hello and welcome to the Kayla Crafts Podcast. My name is Kayla and this is a podcast about my journey through crafting here in Dover, Delaware, where I'm from and where I live. Um, You can mostly find knitting and dyeing in this episode. Uh, This is my fourth episode, I believe. (laughs) If this is the first time you are watching this podcast, welcome. I hope you find something here that you really, really enjoy. Uh, If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and (laughs) indulging my silliness. This has been a really, really fun experience so far. I'm struggling, I think, finding my footing as as far as timing is going, but (laughs) um, I'm getting there, I promise. I know I said last time that um, I would post another video in two weeks, and it's been three. Please forgive me. My job is a little crazy right now. Um, We've had some, a manager leave and I had stepped in in as a supervisor role and now I'm kind of getting more duties and responsibilities thrown at me. So my my schedule has been all out of whack and that's why I've been struggling a little bit, um, trying to get these up on time when I'm supposed to. So I need to really stop just saying things (laughs) in general. And saying like, oh, I'll have this done this time because whenever I say that, it never happens. So I'm just going to say that this video normally goes up on Mondays and it's usually going to be every two to three weeks depending on how crazy my life is. With that said, let's get started to the whole meat of the episode. Just a few things going on right now. Uh, I am co-hosting a middle long, no, no co-hosting a make-along with my sister Gina, who is the maker behind Craft All The Things on Instagram and also um, the host of the Yaycast or the Yet Another Yarn podcast, both of which I will link down below. (laughs) So I'm co-hosting this make-along with my sister. It runs um, now, basically, until December 24th, midnight. Uh, It is the hashtag ambitious Christmas make-along of 2017 and basically what it is is a giant craft along essentially knitting spinning crocheting what have you as long as it's uh, being gifted to someone else for the holidays and um, you can find more information about this make along on my Ravelry group there is a a chatter thread um, for it Uh, my Ravelry group is just Kayla crafts podcast you can look me up that way, and there's also um, more information, or the same information, I should say, on my sister's Ravelry group, and hers is yet another yarn podcast Ravelry group. How do you, I don't know how, I don't know how to really say those things. I actually haven't started anything for it yet. I'm oh, I'm a last minute type of person, if you haven't caught on to that yet, and I haven't started anything, any presents for any of the people that are on my list. And trust me, I have like a list of things that I wanna get done. Um, But I've been waiting on certain things to arrive in the mail and they're finally starting to get here. So I'm actually gonna be getting started on some Christmas presents projects for the make along um, this week. So that's gonna be super exciting. So hopefully next podcast, I'll actually have some participating items to show you for that uh, make along. Hopefully you guys are all participating and um, getting a lot of your Christmas presents, stuff, gifts out of the way. Unlike me, please don't wait until the last minute because that's not fun. That's just really not fun. The other thing I wanna mention too is I had a giveaway recently uh, for this podcast. I was giving away one of my skeins of yarn and a little coordinating midi, like a sock set. I wish I still had it here to show, but after I realized that it was gonna take me like another week to get this podcast up, I I just uh, I picked drew a winner um, I should say, and 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 got in contact with them right away so I could get it mailed out to them right away because I didn't want to um, wait much longer with giving the gift away. So basically for the giveaway, uh, you had to answer a question on my Ravelry group. I I think the question was what's your favorite fall recipe. And had a a couple of people um, respond, which was awesome because it gave me a lot of interesting ideas to do this fall. Lots of lots of different recipes and I can't, I'm gonna be so fat this month. It's it's so bad. A lot of fun things that I'm gonna gonna try. So that was part of the reason why I wanted to ask the question is because I I wanted some new fall 
uh, recipes and fall traditions that I could start with Asher. I, I drew, so I, I did the random number generator and it picked um, post number six. Post number six was Try Linda and I did get in contact with her already and I sent her out her giveaway winner uh, or her giveaway prize which was uh, the Peach Butter Have My Honey sock set and um, a little peachy mini to go along with it and I hope that you've received it already Linda um, and I hope you really really enjoy it and I hope you make a beautiful pair of socks I really can't wait to see what you might end up doing with it uh, and I like I said I hope you, I hope you enjoy enjoy the gift um, it's gonna be the first I think of many many giveaways it was really fun for me I like giving things away <laughs> so we're gonna have to have another giveaway soon sometime soon um, maybe right right at the start of December for the holidays because who doesn't want to give around Christmas, around the holidays. So that's gonna bring me to finished objects and I only have one finished object to show you today. Uh, one that probably should have been finished a long time ago but um, just I actually literally just finished it like maybe two hours before doing this podcast. I was like speeding through it. Um, to make sure I had something to show and now I'm worried that there might have been a mistake. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. So I finished my boyfriend's socks. Here they are. Here's the finished pair. And I still need to block them on on his size sock blockers. I don't have like a large pair of sock blockers yet. I just have this like smaller size for myself. Um, so that's why they kind of look scrunched up. But uh, this was Regia Perfect Sock Yarn that I have here. And all I did was just a basic vanilla sock pattern. Um, I did them toe up. I did, I cast on, I did the Judy's Magic Loop cast on uh, method uh, for the toes. And I, I did maybe 16. I think I cast on 16. And then I increased to, to 72 because he's got a pretty big foot. I did 80 rows on the foot. And then I did a, a fish lips kiss heel. I wish though, because I've had them try them on and they fit pretty good. They but they were just a little little snug. I wish I maybe would have done some more rows on the foot. Like maybe five or ten more rows I think would have made them fit a little bit better. But I'm sure they'll stretch out a little bit if I actually get them blocked properly. <laughs> so I did a fish lips kiss heel and I did about sixty rows um, on the leg. And then I did a two by two twisted rib for the cuff, which um, turned out pretty cool. It gives it a really nice structured uh, ribbing. I don't know that I will do the two by two again. I might just, if I do the twisted rib, I will probably just do it one by one because it was just a little bit um, annoying to do after a while. <laughs> talk to you now about my works in progress. The first one you've heard me talk about for forever. So please bear with me because a lot of these projects I haven't made too much progress on. Um, but let's get started. It is my What the Fade by Andrea Mowry. It's this massive gigantic <laughs> shawl that's been taking up so much of my time. Um, this has been, I have, I Honestly, I've put it down for a little while, and I just recently started picking it back up. The last time that you just heard me talk about this, I was contemplating pulling back some of the garter section rows and actually just binding off of the brioche section. Um, instead, what I decided to do was use this as continental knitting practice. And um, as you can see, I've made a little bit of progress. I think the last time I showed it, I was just here in the yellow color. Um, which is Lemonhead. This, um, all of the yarn in this What the Fade was yarn that I dyed myself um, on a single ply. So I um, finished the yellow section, or my Lemonhead section, and it faded into my Smarties color, which um, is just yellow, uh, yellow speckles, pink speckles, and a little bit of green speckles. Which so it's actually really hard to see the fade because it fades so nicely. Um, after that, it fades into the pink color, which is Bubblegum Babe. So I've, I've recently just been picking this back up and have actually found my love for it again. I feel like that happens to knitters sometimes as we, we work on something so much that we lose interest. 
um, or it becomes too boring to us and we just kind of need to put it aside and then pick it back up again when we found our love for the project again, which is basically what has ha happened to me with this one. Because I think I'm going to actually get this to a relative and I'm not going to say which one because she might be watching this. So the next work in progress that I have to show you, um, you might remember it, is my another shawl that I'm working on. It's On a Distant Beach by Sandra Marie Dooley. Oops, I should probably hold it the right way. Um, the last time I spoke to you guys, I think I was down here. I was still in like the knot section and now I've moved on to the eyelet section of the shawl. And it's going by just sort of slowly. Purling has really just been not fun because who really enjoys purling? And that's really what has been tying me up, I think, with this, with this shawl. But I think once I get to the feather and fan section, I'm really just gonna take off with it, hopefully. Um, because the color is so pretty. This is actually a yarn dyed by my sister Gina, who um, is the hand dyer behind Squish This Yarn on Etsy. And this is her colorway Rose Gold. And she gifted me two skeins of this when I was visiting her in Chicago. And I still owe her some yarn. So Gina, please let me know what kind of yarn you would like me to send you because... I'd really appreciate it if you stopped guilting me <laughs> on your podcast. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Seriously though, tell me what you want. <laughs> See, Gina's the good sister because she gave me this. I'm the bad sister because I have not yet given her her yarn yet. Tell me what you want though and I'll send it to you. The other thing that I'm working on right now um, is a test knit pattern that I am doing for Tabby of the Hey Sister podcast. And it is her sweater weather socks. And I have one sock done. Ooh, let me get that out of the way. So I got one sock done. Um, and it's really hard to see because of the cabling in the sock. This is a, um, it's got a beautiful cable design on the back leg of it. Uh, but it makes it kind of like shrink up. And I don't know if you can really get a good look, look at that. Um, but it's a beautiful sock and the pattern in the pattern it says to do an afterthought heel but that any heel can be be used for the sock itself but I've never done an afterthought heel so I'm gonna try for the very first time to do an afterthought heel and I'm super nervous about it because the idea of just cutting into my yarn just seems crazy to me But I'm gonna try it I'm gonna wait I think until I finish the other pair and I'm gonna cut it into my yarn like a crazy person like who does that who would cut into their yarn I'm going to <laughs> um, the yarn I used for this project is by fiber for the people this is actually the in the colorway um, the lady with the tiger lily which was like one of the first yarns that I've ever bought from her and it's still one of my favorites because it's got a lot of pink uh, like purples and like mauve colors and pops of orange and teal and it's so 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 pretty and because of the teal my little contrasting toe is a teal color which I dyed myself um and it's so bright and happy and I really love the way that this teal came out the pattern itself is so cute and pretty um Tabby did a wonderful job coming up with it. It's so so much fun. I can't wait till the pattern gets released because I think everyone is really just going to enjoy it. Um because I know I did. It's so much fun to try something try a new technique like cabling for me. That it's it was really really fun and I'm so glad that I kind of I answered the call when I saw that she needed test knitters for this. I'm gonna move on and talk to you a little bit about my acquisitions. I don't have a whole lot. I've actually recently bought a couple of things and they haven't exactly come in yet. I bought some stitch markers, some pins. The other thing I wanna to talk to you about is something that actually did arrive uh, yesterday and this is a book that I've been wanting for a very long time. This is a crochet like Amy Groomy toy, um, like, design book and it's called Animal Friends of pick a Powell and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It's either pick a Powell or pick a Payu. I don't know. 
It's by Jan Schenkel, and I'm probably mispronouncing that too, so I, I completely apologize if I am. And if you know how to correctly pronounce it, please let me know down below. She's an Argentinian uh, crocheter and like toy designer, essentially. Uh, has done some illustrations and that sort of thing. And it's someone I've been like admiring for forever. Um, her, her work is beautiful. Her little uh, animal dolls that she creates are just, they're unbelievably cute. And I've been wanting something like this for forever. So as soon as I noticed that this, this had finally been released, I, I had to order it right away because I, I have been always wanting this. Um, obviously I'm a knitter first. That's what I, my first love and that's what I learned to do. But you might, if you've watched this podcast before, you might remember, um, me mentioning that uh, Gina, my sister Gina and I used to make some crocheted little dolls for people um, uh, through Etsy and we did a lot of like kind of like pop, pop culture-y um, dolls. Um, so crocheting is something that I do actually enjoy doing and I'm going to basically make all of the little dolls, all the little toy animals in this, this book and these are going to be a lot of um, some Christmas presents. So this is going to be part of my ambitious Christmas make-along and I can't wait to get started. I'm not sure if I'm going to be ordering yarn for this yet or not um, or if I'm just going to kind of go through my stash and see what I have. We'll see what happens but I've already decided on I'm going to be making the wolf for Asher because um, it's one of his favorite animals and I've got some uh, nephews and a niece who, who definitely are going to be getting something from here. Um, a lot of kiddos in my life so I, I can't wait to, to just dive into this this book. If, you, if you've if you never heard of Pick a Pow, Pick a Pew, um, please check her out. I'm going to list her Instagram information down below. Her work has been so inspiring to me and I think um, definitely inspiring to other people. If you don't already follow her on Instagram, you absolutely should because um, she's just a wonderful creator and artist. Yeah. <laughs> As some of you may know, uh, I recently opened up an Etsy shop called Peachy Skein Yarn on Etsy, and it has been a little bit of a, a, a success. I've had a couple of people buy some of my yarn, and that's like so exciting, um, and I can't stop smiling about it whenever I think about it. Uh, so thank you to anyone who has actually bought my yarn and happens to be watching this podcast. I hope you are. Uh, thank you so much for, for buying something from me, and I really, really hope you enjoy it. Uh, my mom recently also opened up her own Etsy shop, which is Die Happy Yarn uh, on Etsy as well, and she's also had people buy her yarn, and that's like... I can't even begin to tell you like how happy that has made me and my sister and her because um, <laughs> she wasn't even sure she would be good at this because uh, she's not actually a knitter <laughs> which we're trying to change I'm trying to teach her how to knit um, I was gonna have her um, try and be on this podcast too at the end with me to t so we could both talk about our shop updates but today has been a little bit crazy um, trying to get this all together so I do have uh, some yarn, some new yarn to show you. So I'm having a shop update on November the 10th, which is Friday, um, probably at 7 uh, p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Now what I'm going to do is show you some of that new yarn that I'm going to have available on there. Um, so let's, I got some new bases. I have a sparkle base, which is 75% uh, merino wool, 10% uh, nylon, and 5% stelena. And I have some gold and silver Selena, and I also have 100% uh, Superwash Merino. I have some minis that are going to be going up in the shop, and I have some DK weight yarn to dye still, and I'm hoping that I'm going to get an opportunity to dye that before Friday. Um, but I am working this week, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get be able to get around to that. But if not on Friday, definitely coming soon. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see some of these things. I'm super excited about some of these new colors that I've made and I'm still making new ones. Um, I also have an exclusive November color which is only going to be available on this month um, so you'll only be able to purchase it now. I only have two skeins of it right now um, dyed but I'm dying more today. Um, hopefully I think maybe on a sparkly base too because I think it's really going to pop on a sparkle base. But let me just show you what uh, is going to be available on Friday.
wrap this up because I believe Asher is going to be waking up soon. So um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know how I did. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, it's super encouraging when I, when I see people do that. So please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you to anyone who has subscribed to me. Um, that is awesome. But if you like this and you want to see more, please um, please subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know how I did. Show notes for this episode will be going up in my Ravelry group, which is Kayla Crafts Podcast on Ravelry, which you can find me there. If you have any questions or comments for me on there, you can also leave them on the Ravelry page. I'm pretty I'm getting better about responding to things on there. Don't forget that there is a shop update uh, this Friday, November 10th for both Peachy Skein Yarn and Die Happy Yarn, so please check it out on then. Um, we'll definitely be updating Instagram to show you all the beautiful yarns that are going to be available. Anyway, I hope you all have a happy, crafty week, uh, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye-bye. Right on cue. See? He's waking up. <laughs> Good thing I finished. <laughs> Bye. -bye.